We're going to move on now to our tech corner. I've got a good one for you. It's uh, from the people at Teledandalus. It's the BOA Spot, which is a, a vision system. Uh, and Dirk's going to take a look at it now. So, Dirk, uh, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Okay, so uh, like Mike said, we have the BOA Spot uh, Vision Sensor from Teledyne Dalsa, and I'll get into it a little bit, uh, just one second, both the hardware and the software. Um, but first of all, it's worth describing what a vision sensor is for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with them. Uh, it looks like a camera, it is actually. And these are typically used on high speed uh, lines, let's say packaging lines. So for instance, uh, you've got a bottling plant and it's got you know, a thousand bottles of minute uh, running down this, this high speed conveyor and you need to check whether the caps, the bottle caps are on the bottles properly, right? You want to make sure they're, they're on and that they're on correctly, they're not skewed. So the way that might work is you have these bottles spinning down this line, you know, a thousand bottles a minute. As Soon as a bottle comes in front of the camera, it triggers the camera, something triggers the camera, it takes a picture of the bottle and and the bottle top and the cap, and then inside the camera, that image is compared to a known good image, known good parameters, and so forth, and a decision is made in the camera itself, in the sensor itself, whether this bottle passed or failed. And if it failed, it might send, the camera might send a signal out to a diverter or a gate or a pusher or something to push that bottle off into a reject bin. And this all happens just very quick, if you can imagine, thousands of products a minute running down a line. Now, what makes the BOA Spot Vision sensor unique is that for a low-cost sensor, it's about a thousand bucks, for a low-cost sensor it has a lot more functionality than you typically see in a sensor of this type. So in fact, the way Teledyne Dalsa positions it, kind of their tagline for it, is a, a, a vision system performance at a vision sensor cost. Vision sensor is discrete device, a vision system usually has a lot more components to it. And what they're saying is that this device by itself has a lot of that same functionality as a vision system. So let's take a look at this right now. Is the BOA spot. We can go back to the gauge cam real quick here. No, if you can flick us back. There we go. Thank you. Um, so we've got a focus ring on the front right here allows it to focus once it's set up. You notice that there's six LEDs inside. Those are integrated within the camera itself. This can be ordered with red, green, or blue LEDs. Uh, the LEDs are controlled by the camera itself and the programming. Uh, notice we've got mounting holes all the way around. So easy to mount this. And then on the back, uh, some uh, status indicators and a couple connectors, one for I.O. and one for your LAN connection, your uh, network connection in-house. Uh, this is a IP67 rated, so it is good for harsh environments. So typically, what you would do with this is this would normally be used for uh, you know, automated inspection, uh, identification. This camera can do uh, 2D barcodes, regular barcodes, uh, count edges, count uh, features, uh, uh, what else we got here? Uh, optical character recognition, pattern matching, a lot of functionality within a low cost sensor. Now what I'd like to do is be able to show you how this particular sensor runs. We can't do that because this is a, uh, uh, you know, don't have it hooked up to anything, but we do have emulation software. And if we can switch over to our, uh, our screen share here, I'll show you what this looks like. So typically, this is the software that you would actually get with this camera. Now, what, rather than looking at live images, what we're seeing right now are some canned images that are stored within the software, that, just so I can demonstrate this. And you can see what it looks like we have here is maybe a sheet metal stamped, a small sheet metal stamped part. It's got a couple labels on it, a 2D code, uh, some connectors uh, cut out of it, some mounting holes, that sort of thing. And this is coming down the line. You notice it's rotating a little bit. Uh, it doesn't have to be, these don't have to be positioned precisely as they're coming down the line. Uh, you can take maybe five to 10 degrees of rotation and the BOA spot will still be able to, uh, uh, to do its job on them. But what I really wanted to show you is how easy it is to program this. So this is basically what you would do programming a part. First of all, you need a known good image. Well, uh, you take your known good image capture it with the camera, and then you start selecting tools and drawing boxes. So I've selected the barcode tool. I will draw a box around the barcode. Notice down below that it showed me that I've used the barcode tool. It's even read the barcode. I'm going to take the 2D code tool, draw a box around the 2D code, and notice again once down below it's read the code. We, we can see the code says ABC, one, two, three, four, five. 
Um, I'm going to count some slots down there at the bottom, so I'm going to use the edge count tool. There we go. It counts six slots. Uh, let's count how many characters are in this label over here. So I'm going to use the count tool. There we go. The count tool. And draw a box around that. Made that box a little too small, so I'm going to embiggen that box a little. Ah, sorry, let me just erase what I did there because I made a mistake. We're going to take this tool. One second here as I... I made a mistake, but that's easy to correct. I just use the correction tools. There we go. I draw my box around my label. And then once I've done it, I can go in and actually right click on this and edit some of the parameters so I can tell it that I'm looking for a dark character on a light background. I do that. Now it's seeing eight characters in that box and that's reflected in the table down here. And finally, let's do some pattern matching. We are going to take a look at this connector cutout up here. And so I draw a box around that. And I also am going to say that this particular feature is a locator. And we're going to locate it for rotation. This is to compensate for rotations of the part. You need to give it a feature that it's going to uh, use to kind of compensate for any rotation of the part as it comes down the line. And that's it. This is fully programmed. I can now run the program. So now we are pretending that we are measuring parts. That we see some of them are passing, some of them are failing. So, if I stop it and we step back through and look at some of these parts, this is a known good part. There's nothing failed on it. Uh, this part is fine. This part gives me a failure. And if I look down here on the bottom, I can see there's a slot missing. And we see a red line there. We see our red dot on the left. It's, it's detected that this was a bad part. And again, uh, I keep stepping through them and I find a part where there's only six letters instead of eight letters in that label. So once again, it detects it, marks it, flags it. Now this is all we would need to do if we were simply going to do no go, do, go, no go on parts coming down the line. If I wanted to apply more logic to this, I could do that through scripting. I would simply go into my scripting tool, open that up, and now I have a lot of scripting options. I could be taking uh, this information that I've gathered, I could be doing uh, some logic on it, and maybe uh, giving a, an output to a PLC further down the line, something to do with this, this part, um, or any other types of outputs. Uh, the BOAS spot does support several PLC communication uh, protocols, so we could talk easily talk to, let's say, a Rockwell PLC or a Siemens PLC, all very easy. And that's it. Once you're done programming, you simply hit the Save button. You would go out, you would save your program, give it a name, and now in the future, when you're ready to work with this particular part, you would simply connect your computer or your laptop to your camera. You would upload this program into it. You could disconnect the computer. The camera would be ready to go to inspect these parts. So that is basically it. That is the BOA Spot low-cost vision sensor that has a lot of capabilities of a vision system. If you want more information on it, there is a link underneath the player page that will take you out to the BOA Spot uh, web page on the Teledyne Dulce site. There's a lot of specs and more information there you can read on it. Uh, thanks to the folks at Teledyne Dulce for sending this to us for today's Tech Corner. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. And Mike, back to you.